Okay, Munchkin Butts. Hello, everybody. Today's date is October 12th, 2014. And hold on a second. Let me get situated here. Just got back in my tent. And, uh, hold it. All right, Munchkin Butts. This is going to be a informative video. Keeping up. It's a news update. Today's date is October 12th, 2014. And my name is Leslie Williams. Don't let my comical moments um, distract you from the seriousness, seriousness pertaining to the subject matter and theme of this video because this is going to be an informative video and once I start uh, describing the information you will definitely see my posture change because there's nothing comical about the subject matter. Again, my name is Leslie Williams. I am in San Diego, California and as you can see I'm hiking. That's right. Uh, I'm actually hiking for many, 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 many reasons. The main one is, is that it is because I am a target victim and activist concerning the criminal expeditions of what is known as gang stalking. Gang stalking is not stalking by gangs at all. Organized stalking, gang stalking, which is the same exact crime, just goes by, it actually goes by a few different names. Organized stalking, cause stalking, revenge stalking, and so on and so forth. So... Uh, gang stalking, organized stalking, is a type of a crime. It is not stalking by gangs at all. Basically, it's the type of crime that is, um, it basically operates on a template of incremental steps, okay, that they bring about against the target through, but not limited to, maneuvers, methods, tactics, cooperating relationships, secrecy, um, in order to be able to bring about each incremental step each step causing a specific circ circumstance, situation, and effect. That's right. My name is Leslie Williams. The whole goal in gang stalking is exploitation. Flat out. Now, again, do not uh, mistake at all uh, my comical appearing posture, you know, when I kind of slide in and out of doing it, <laughs> concerning the seriousness of this video. In other words, don't, don't say that this woman is just making, you know, she's, she's making... She's talking about a serious issue, but yes, she seems so comical, it must not be that serious. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe what I know. You just would not believe it. So, what I do as a result of what I know, educated knowledge, knowledge is uh, data based on facts and experience, I have been able to take the educated knowledge, okay, fold it onto the experience, and as a result, I have become to understand the factual realities of these expeditions. They are nothing but criminal. And the individuals who are hosting it, managing it, allowing it, and protecting it are in this system at every level, including federal. Now, when you research organized stalking and gang stalking, you will, in fact, go to Google right now and type in the following description in the following way that I stated. That way you can literally be taken right to the YouTube video that I'm going to lead you to. But make no mistake about it, just because I lead you to one video pertaining to how gang stalking, organized stalking, is directly connected to human trafficking, this video that I'm about ready to mention to you right now in reference to the description of its title is my way to introduce to you so you can see that also other individuals out there who have who are seasoned targeted individuals who have also done thorough investigative research into these criminal realities as a result basically when you when you take any subject matter uh like say if you want to learn about like say if you have a loved one that has come down with any kind of cancer whatever your first instinct is to attempt to uh make sure that it doesn't escalate and to nip it in the bud in reference to uh you know where you're at with it and one of the things that you will do reflexatorily okay which is actually a very healthy thing to do is you will go online immediately and research every single thing that you can pertaining to the specific type of cancer you've been diagnosed with and what other individuals have done to deal with it and even alternative methods in reference to dealing with it as well because it is our basic instinct uh, self-preservation is a built-in instinct whenever we hear bad news about anything that could affect our health our shelter our family so on and so forth we automatically that alarm bell instinctively goes off and as a result we take we engage in appropriate uh, behaviors that are appropriate to the situation basically what I'm saying is that 
if you would do that pertaining to being diagnosed with cancer. Once targeted individuals become aware that what is happening to us is gang stalking, we automatically fly right on that internet because we want to be able to know who is doing this crime to us because gang stalking, the way it comes about, organized stalking, the way it comes about, it, it, it is an extremely unique, interesting type of crime. So look up interesting because interesting is not an average household world, uh, word. So look that up if you're not exactly sure what interesting means, but do it, okay? And I'm not trying to imply anybody stupid, not at all. The point being is this, is that interesting means, at least for me, and the way I understand it, is that, mean, that it means that there's a lot involved in the crime. Okay? And as a result of this being a crime that is attached to extreme criminalities, the individuals in the system have spread a lot of misinformation and disinformation, as well as even targets have accidentally, uh, 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 as a result of them believing, not knowing that what they were reading was misinformation and disinformation, they have went on to even include some of the misinformation and disinformation in their blogs because they have not been able to... See, when you first become a victim of this crime, uh, uh, gang stalking has, has, has to do with a lot of smoking mirrors because they the, most of the campaign in reference to what's brought about against us in order to bring about the exploitation is nothing but smoking mirrors. Even though every crime that we experience are facts, but they are designed to be hard to figure out. Uh, the perpetrators will literally even attempt to anchor in a target's mind that what's happening to them is because of something they did in the past, somebody that they offended, and so on and so forth. No, it's not. Even though you can be put on the list if you have offended someone. But the point being is that these perpetrators will in in intentionally let bait the target, anchor in the target's mind to believe, like what they did with me. They tried to get me to believe that what was happening to me was because my car got repossessed and I didn't make the payments. That's right. Fellow American citizens, fellow San Diegoans, it's called misdirection, redirection. Okay, so that way the target is constantly being pushed and pulled in so many different directions trying to figure out exactly what's happening to them, why, because whenever a person is a victim of a crime and they cannot find the persons who are responsible for it, they're going to run in every single direction trying to figure out who's responsible for it, and that's exactly what they want because they want to keep the targeted individual tied up in the mental busyness of trying to figure it out and to physically distract them in the busyness of running to different places that they're led to believe are responsible for it. These individuals will literally set up organizations to make it appear that they advocate for gang stalking targets. So they can run to that organization and then the organization does nothing but keep you tied up in mindless activities that are designed to make it look like you're actually doing something to possibly get out of the situation, which the end result is really nothing but literally chasing your tail. Literally. Because these expeditions are responsible for making, it's a nationwide syndicate, and basically it's up and it's up and running in every single government city town okay and state in the united states it's organized crime in the system baby cakes that's right and there's two main uh, syndicates from i i'm suspecting there's at least four okay <laughs> now there's a manifesto that's on the internet right now that you can go to by typing in at google a gang stalking tech everything you need to know I have read that manifesto as well as many other uh, researchers, journalists, independent journalists included, and they are all coming to the same conclusion that this is an actual manifesto of a manager of gang stalking crews. Getting back to the YouTube title that I st said I was going to state, go to Google and type this in in the specific same exact way, I'm sorry, in the same exact way that I described, okay? Or write this down and then do it at Google. Gang stalking, space, human trafficking and as a result of you hitting enter at google or bing or whatever hold on excuse me as a result of you typing this in at google what you're going to come up with is some information pertaining to the factual reality that human trafficking rings and sexual servitude rings and prostitution rings and pedophile rings and even worse <laughs> yeah can you believe there's something worse than that like snuff films oh yeah the animals that are involved in these criminal expeditions are nothing but filthy, wild animal whores. And they are not to be trusted in any sense of the word. They are responsible for rape, gang rape, torture, kidnapping, insurance fraud, murder to collect insurance. 
racketeering, land co-opting, property co-opting, mortgage co-opting, trust fund liquidation, identity theft, non-consensual human experimentation, which includes torture, flat out. And all you gotta do is say, okay, I'm listening to what she's saying, maybe I'm just gonna take that, like, like today, you can type in gang stalking human trafficking, spend five, ten minutes to look at it, next time you sit down in front of your computer, if you got an extra five or ten minutes, look at it again, next time you sit in front of your computer, you got an extra five and ten minutes, type in gang stalking and, and um, non-consensual human experimentation, and look at what comes up, YouTube it as well. In fact, you can go to YouTube right now and type in Timothy W. Bioethics Issues. When you're watching that host video, pay attention to all the videos that come up in the right column, right to the right of that video. These are basically nothing but TIs, targeted individuals testifying before the Bioethics Commission in multiple different years, testifying uh, concerning what's happening to them as a result of them being non-consensual human experimentation targets. And if you listen to enough of them, you will hear quite a few say they're gang stalking targets. That's right, baby cakes. I made this video to inform to expose the truth because the truth needs to be known. Now, basically what these criminals will do, these little wild, filthy rat whores, who are in the system at every level. Why is the internet stating that the FBI are involved in gang stalking? Why is the internet stating that the CIA and the NSA are connected to gang stalking? Why is the internet stating that DAs are taking orders from these little filthy rats and will do anything that they're told to do and how even syndicate members might even be in their office? Flat out. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Leslie Williams. I made this video to inform you so you can educate yourself because here's the thing. Anybody, literally anybody, can become a victim of this crime. I suffered from this crime openly, okay, from 2000 up until 2009 without having a name for it. And you would not believe what has happened to me. By total, complete strangers. Even though some of them did infiltrate my life through respectable environments, churches. Hmm, I was sexually exploited by a retired firefighter who worked for Salvation Army. He was directly connected to gang stalking. Okay, flat out. Actually, that is the un undisputable truth. Now, the, the point being, the reason why I'm making these videos is, is because when you take my statements and my descriptions and then you go and you research each one, you're gonna come up with a slew of articles, blogs, YouTube videos, petitions, uh, script files, which are basically PDF files, documentation files, you're going to come across a whole slew of information pertaining to what is happening to gang stalking, organized stalking targets. And then you're going to be able to witness that these factual realities are, are, are occurring. And when you start noticing how it's all over the internet, then you're going to, you're going to notice that, well, this person's saying they're being gang stalked from North Carolina. This one's saying they're being gang stalked in Arizona. This one, Texas. This one, Florida. This one, Michigan. This one, California. This one, North Carolina. Uh, 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 Texas. I think I didn't mention Texas, but I think you get the point. New Mexico, it's going on everywhere, and it is also going on in other countries as well. Now, fellow American citizens, fellow San Diegoans, fellow La Hoyans, and fellow Californians, my name is Leslie Williams. I make these... <laughs> I'm so used to saying that. It just comes, like, right out of my mouth. It's almost like an automatic segue, you know, whenever I, I, when I, whenever I flip to the next detail. So just bear with me. The point being is this, is that can you imagine a complete strangers, okay, taking you out of your home using clever, creative, covert relationships with, but not limited to, property owners, landlords, postal employees who will happily engage in mail theft and mail delayment, mail theft and mail delayment of your rent. Now, hold on a second. Let me just give you a tidbit of information here. They're targeting the elderly like you would not believe. They're targeting veterans. They're targeting people on disability. They're targeting single fathers, single mothers. They're targeting anybody who's got an, a, either a disabled child, whether that be a, a child that's still a, still a child or a, chi uh, or a disabled child that is now an adult. Because these are individuals who are getting fixed incomes. They're targeting the elderly because they have pensions. They're targeting vets, vets because they got usually social security. Okay? They're targeting uh, the elderly because of they got equity in their home and because they got bank accounts. Now, when you come to research these criminal realities, you will eventually discover that uh, Agenda 21 is also connected to gang stalking. Land co-opting, property co-opting, mortgage co-opting, trust fund liquidation, identity theft, 
Now these little filthy rats will 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 you would not believe you just would not believe what I know. Now I have literally had every single aspect of my life completely destroyed from my credit, okay, to uh, all the vicious physical brutal acts that have, have, have done have been done to me, including physical, uh, including sexual, okay. Um, I will not talk about if I suspect or if I believe I am a non-consensual human experimentation, not in this video. Because these little wild whores, okay, when you're a whistleblower like me, I've literally even been on national radio shows, okay, exposing these criminal realities, and they know it because cyber surveillance is a method of gang stalking, uh, computer hacking is a method of gang stalking, cell phone hacking is a method of gang stalking, okay, so you better believe they know it, so you better believe they're watching me. Absolutely. Let me ask you a question. If you went to Google right now and typed in uh, surveillance and gang stalking, uh, uh, um, uh, monitoring and gang stalking, where the gang stalkers, uh, the gang stalking perpetrators will monitor everything a target does. <coughs> Excuse me. If they'll go through all this, if they go through what they go through to place people along the targeted individual's route on a daily basis to harass them in specific ways, usually using such hesitation methods, do you honestly think that these little wild, filthy, rat ass whores, okay, will not set up audio surveillance where you live at? You can go to Google right now and type in uh, uh, hidden microphones, hidden tape recorders, hidden cameras, gang stalking, okay? Uh, targeted individuals and look at what comes up okay the point being is this if a targeted individual talks about like maybe possibly even some specific uh, very sophisticated technology being perpetrated against them uh, the gang stalking expedition will literally use the truth call it a lie in order to call the target delusional to put the target away so they can literally achieve the criminal motivation of why they targeted the targeted uh, I'm sorry why they targeted the target Racketeering. Basically, what I'm saying is that there are, uh, outside of the crime descriptions that I've already mentioned, there's also racketeering involved in this, uh, as well as insurance fraud. Insurance frauds, I broke my arm in June and uh, riding my bike, my arm and my wrist. And I was looking at the Medicare summary that came in concerning it and check it out. The Medicare summary, it appears that they made at least $10,000 just by three office visits and the x rays included. Okay, what do you think they're making on anywhere between a 21 a day and a, even up to a six month hos, uh, hospital stay? Why is the manifesto calling the doctors on the, uh, uh, why is the person who wrote that manifesto concerning a gang stalking tech everything you need to know? Why did that person call the doctors connected to the syndicate? Why did, why did that person title them as the money bags? Because of the insurance fraud. That's right. Now, so, is sophisticated technology, say if I, like my parents right now are approaching the very senior years, and even though we have an estranged relationship, even though we have an estranged relationship, I am not, uh, I am not bitter enough or, or angry enough to say that I do not still love them. Of course I do, because they were my mom and my dad, my biological mom and dad. That stuff is, it's instinct, okay, to love your parents, okay? Now, basically what I'm trying to say is that if you have an elderly parent who's got money, who's got good insurance, who's got some equity in her home, and all of a sudden maybe the father dies, you know, you know, the husband dies and the mother's left alone, they can target her. Because information is bought and sold through Medicare, Social Security, doctor's offices, hospitals. Do you understand? They can deduce easily who's vulnerable and who's not. And since they're working it with bank managers and bank employees, they definitely know how much money you got. I've been gang stalked inside of at least four banks, four different bank locations in San Diego County alone by managers, bank employees, and people coming in acting as patrons. So, Ladies and gentlemen, the point being is this, is that let's just say, let's just say these little filthy perpetrating skanked out whores do have the technology that John Hall is all over the internet discussing. You can go to YouTube and type in John Hall satellite terrorism. Okay, you can go to YouTube and Google and type in Robert Duncan. 
Okay, I think that's his, or Robert Becker or Robert Duncan one. Okay, you can research the technology that is all over Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance's homepage. Now, if they have technology that can neurally manipulate an individual, including other things that they're doing to a target physiologically, then they can easily cause a senior citizen to drive their car off the road. She goes to the hospital and then a syndicated doctor says she's got dementia. And then the rest of her golden years are ruined because they make sure that she's kept in the, in the non-stop merry-go-round of what they plan on doing to her. They didn't target her one time for no reason. Hold on. So the point being is this. These little filthy organized crime syndicates have even set up nursing homes, uh, probably hospices, group homes, foster care homes. They're the most wild, filthy, criminal whores that your mind can conceive. Let me give you a, an example of what I'm talking about concerning the true nature of these little filthy rats. They will literally use a neighbor or somebody from school to claim that you beat your kid when you did not. Okay, and then what they'll do is pretend like they're calling social services concerning it. Their syndicated social services worker will come out to your home and take your child. Under the guise of keeping your child safe from you. Once the child is taken, he, is literally, he or she is literally intentionally put in a syndicated run foster care home where they are raped. Where video pictures are even taken of it and sold to pedophile rings. And then the child is abused, malnourished and everything up until he's 18 and by the time he's, get re get re by the time he's released, he's probably already addicted to drugs because they probably got him addicted to drugs. Because they plan on selling him for the rest of his life to organized crime syndicates. That's not including all the provocations that they intentionally bring about against the child in order to blame the event that, see, because they stage events, then they blame the person who they're provoking on the event, and then since they got syndicated probate control, they, they claim you gotta go in the hospital and get on medication because you're out of control. You got a behavioral issue. And that's where the insurance is booked. They do the same thing in group homes. Now these group homes and foster care homes, these crime syndicates, they basically buy anywhere between 7 and 11 different homes and each home can house anywhere between 7 and 15 clients. They're going in and buying houses, filling them up with people that they've illegally kidnapped through illegal syndicated probate control and they're paying off the mortgage at an accelerated rate and then flipping the houses and then doing the same thing. They're basically going hunting. Same concept with that little whore, I think it was out in Penn's, uh, Philadelphia. She kept four mentally disabled individuals locked up in a basement for 10 full years. Same thing when it came to a syndicated judge who got busted in Pennsylvania. He was sending first time misdemeanor children to the full maximum sentence to a detention center that was privately owned. As a result, that detention center per inmate applied for federal funds. When those funds came in, the detention center kicked back a portion of those funds to the judge. He got caught and got 28 years. Now, fellow American citizens, can you imagine this happening to you? By complete strangers you do not know at all. And then running to the police, the DA, the prosecutor, and every single last one of them ignore every single word you say. As a result, you're left in the victimization of these criminalities. You're set up to be raped, brutally assaulted numerous, on numerous occasions. Your whole entire life is torn down, and then they use that as the excuse to call you crazy and that they need to take syndicated probate control because of it. This is what they're doing to just average people. Hi. Totally destroying every aspect of our lives. My name is Leslie Williams, and this is my story. And the reason why I'm sharing it is because you have a right to know about what's going on in your community. Did you know that they're actually even using community members, like pro more than likely members of the homeowners association, neighborhood watch groups, community policing programs, church groups, fraternities, sororities, anybody and everybody that they will use to harass a target for them based on lies they tell them about the target. Because the harassment assists in breaking the target down mentally. 
stage events. That way the police can be called either by the target, the perpetrators, or a stage witness. The police come out, they know the whole thing is going on because it's a staged event. By the time they come out, they bait the target to open up about what's happening to him. The target says I'm being gang stalked or I'm being stalked and harassed by people I don't know. That's the reason why he baited the question. So he can make a falsified police report. It's between, but not limited to, the police reports, the psychiatrist reports, social services reports, and God only knows who else is how they get the syndicated probate control. They're schemes brought about through maneuvers, tactics, and methods over time so they can make it appear that Miss Williams has got a mental illness that's, that's got a long history, okay, and as a result, she's homeless. She's living in a canyon where, she, where she's being assaulted by men they're bringing down here to assault me. Because they know, let me ask you a question, do you believe that a cop knows why people call him? I think I do. If you're assaulted, what's your first instinct to do? Call the cops. Through the tracking, surveillance, and observation of the target, they're literally bringing men down here and even across the street to assault me, to psychologically motivate me to call the cops. So they can say, what's, what's going on? Well, I just got assaulted because I'm a gang stalking target. Well, what's gang stalking, Leslie? I don't understand. They're nothing but lying, filthy whores. Each and every single police officer that's come in my presence, I already know for a fact he knows who I am. That's right. It doesn't matter how he or she will lie to court, on the stand, or to my face. They know who I am. And they're nothing but lying, filthy whores to say that they don't. Period. Hold on. So, what I do is inform to expose the truth. Now, when a woman or even a young man is put in a group home after the illegal syndicated probate control has gotten, the gang stalking continues. They will do everything towards the target, provoke a target, get the target to act out verbally or physically, and then since they got syndicated probate control, they get petitioned in a county mental health to be put on psychotropic medications that totally compromises their cognitive abilities to engage in critical thinking, analytical processing, deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning, and common sense because they don't want the target to be able to think things through. Otherwise, the target would be able to be able to deal with more effectively the provocations. That's what they don't want. That way they can make it look like they got a legal apparent excuse to keep repetitioning re 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 the target in the county mental health to bilk the insurance and to keep the false diagnosis as current in order to keep the syndicated probate control. Straw people. We're literally treated like non-humans. So, fellow American citizens, when you look at how these little filthy DAs get up on our radio stations, when you wake up in the morning and you turn on, like me here, I turn on Kogo in San Diego, and the little skink downtown, I think her whore-ass name is Bonnie Damascus, she gets on the radio and she says that she's an advocate pertaining to elder abuse and human trafficking. When the little skinky whore has got a individual in her DA's office by the name of Curtis Webb who's directly connected to gang stalking. It's all over the internet. And by the way, do you really think this dumb bitch has got one police report in her possession or on a file or in a folder anywhere of her or any of her police officers ever busting one person that's been involved in gang stalking? I guarantee you no. So, if this was happening to you, do you think that you would cause a, a call a sleazy skank like her a whore? Well, considering the fact that they take us out of our homes and attempt to make us into whores, human trafficking, I think that gives me every fucking right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta move from my hiking area because UCSD campus police, who I've been all over the internet exposing UCSD campus, okay, came to my hiking area and evicted me from it on the 27th of August. Are they leading me to more isolated areas where there's no neighbors close by so I can be raped, robbed, assaulted, or all three? Or even worse? So, if I disappear and you don't see no more of my updated videos, the Northwestern, okay? Police Department, SDPD, the Eastern Division, the Western Division, the San Diego DA, who I went down and was told I was mentally ill, <laughs> which is a method of gang stalking. They literally had a San Diego DA's office officer come out and call me mentally ill because I told him that the video of me being assaulted on an MTS bus was altered by MTS, even though it is.
Go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman brutally assaulted on an MTS bus. Why is the back door periodically on the wrong side of the bus? Why is the rail that holds the mirror on the wrong side of the bus? And why is the mirror backwards? And why is me and the individual who assaulted me on the bus video on the opposite side of the bus in the video in reference to where we were actually sitting at on the day of the assault? So, all any video forensic specialist has to do is take one look at that video and see that it's altered. Eric Pearson from USD saw it. He's a professor in communications that specializes in videos and images. He saw it and posted it on First Post, which is a website. They were told about it. SDPD was told about it. And why is the police report concerning that assault uh, completely falsified and facts were omitted from it? because it was a staged assault as a result of me whistleblowing. In closing, I've been assaulted four times. Look in the description of that YouTube video of the MTS assault and you'll see that I predicted that assault in the email file. Just look in the description of that YouTube video and follow all instructions. Then, go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman brutally assaulted again. Their whole goal is to bring men down up in here to assault me, even assault me from across the street so they can say Leslie Williams is not making appropriate healthy decisions to take care of herself. She's homeless because she thinks she's being gang stalked. She's living in a canyon where she's being assaulted by homeless men. As a result of her delusional disorder, because she thinks she's being gang stalked, she's homeless, and she's been living in a canyon where men are coming down and assaulting her, therefore she's not safe. We better take syndicated probate control so she can be safe. That way, the, the gang stalking can continue in an isolated environment they control, a group home, so the campaign can continue to bear its fruit pertaining to the original criminal, criminal motivation of why they targeted me to begin with, why they made me homeless to begin with. All four assaults that happened to me, two were predicted in video, all four in audio, and two in email files. So, fellow American citizens, you can take this information and see the factual realities pertaining to the truth of the matter, or you can believe the little filthy ass whores, excuse my language, like the police officers that are d directly connected to this, and the DA's office that protects it, and the mayors who ignore it. Gotta get. I'm in San Diego, California. If anything happens to me at any one of the new hiking areas that I go to, including tomorrow when I go to drop property off at one of them, I don't give a shit how it's made to be brought about. I don't care what excuses anybody uses. Anybody. It will be directly connected to gang stalking. They'll say, well, Leslie, look, we got, we got information online right now that says that other people were assaulted in this area. You should know better. Huh. Every single time I get assaulted, they, they apply some other excuse why it's happening, except for the fact that it's gang stalking. Okay, so in closing, go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at UCSD. Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at UCSD Price Center. Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at SDSU. Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at Jack in a Box. Learning Disabled Woman Catches Gang Stalker Admitting Sent to Harass Read Comments. To then, then go to YouTube and type in 2 forward slash 20 forward slash 13. Learning Disabled Woman Catches Another Gang Stalker Admitting Sent to Harass Read Comments. Or, no, just don't, that second one, that last one I just mentioned here, it doesn't have read comments in the, uh, in the YouTube title. Now, I have literally caught seven people admitting to me in hidden running tape recorders that they were put in my physical presence to engage in gang stalking, sensitization, physical gestures, three of them being UCSD students, two of them right on campus. Yeah. So. Fellow American citizens, fellow San Diegoans, fellow Californians, and fellow La Hoyans. My name is Leslie Williams. I made this video to inform to expose the truth so you will know what the truth is. Not the bullshit, not the lies, not the disinformation or the misinformation, and not the filthy whores that are in this system that are managing these criminalities to make money off of us from every angle that you can think of. Let's just look at four things that can happen to a target. Illegal syndicated probate control so their finances can be co-opted. The insurance fraud that will, will, will continue non-stop while the target is in their syndicated probate control, okay? That's not including all the psychotropic medications that they're put on that they do not need at all, period, for any reason, okay? Then the human trafficking, where they will drug our food and our drinks 
wait till we're knocked out, bring men in to have sex with us while we're knocked out, just like the, just like the, what do you call that, the roofie drug, okay, the date rape drug, that's literally what they do. Once the target is knocked out, they will literally bring men in to rape that woman over and over and over and over and over again, videotape the entire thing, and sell it to multiple pornography groups. And that's not including the money they make off the non-consensual human experimentation. Four ways of making millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands, just off of one victim who's being tortured, raped, illegally kidnapped, okay, and mind tortured like you would not believe on a daily basis. These are the factual realities of gang stalking. I made this video to inform to expose the truth. Go to Google right now and type in, <coughs> and type in Curtis Webb, San Diego DA's office officer, gang stalking, human trafficking. Payback, motherfuckers. I guess you don't like it now very much, do you? Boom. Everything I'm doing right now pertaining to Exposing San Diego is based on the very first time they brought about the very first event towards me. It has nothing to do with every single years and years and years of extreme hell. It has to do with the first time. The first time. Alright, I gotta get... I do appreciate you listening. Please research what I've stated in this video and you will conclude that I am telling you the factual truth. Have a nice day.